Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Old Proud Bavarian and I'm no longer a robot. Or, well, maybe I'm just hiding it better. I'm so sorry about the last minute of the last episode. Um, that was a bit screwed up, wasn't it? Well, Tagger was semi on the devil of hike, you know. He doesn't care. He don't care. He's strong enough to deal even with me having a screwed up mic. You will notice that I sound a bit differently today. Or different today. That is because, well, you know, I was using a software. I was playing around with a bit of software. I was also thinking about getting a new mic just in general. But that aside, I was just experimenting and you can expect those experiments to come up, you know, in the next month or so because I'm just, you know, trying new things out, stuff and, and you know, whatever. Don't worry about it too much. All you need to know is the microphone will not be broken in this episode. That much I can assure you. Well, what happened in the last episode was a lot of exposition, so today I want to focus on actually playing CK2. I will also tell you, however, that I can only do this like 20 or 25 minutes today. I'm a bit under, under pressure. Good song. Um, Tagwa Simeon the Devil has finally realized the danger that the Seljuks and that everybody outside of his realm poses to his rule. He is nothing but a king of the ashes after he went on to destroy his opponents within the realm. And just because of that, I'm even going to show some mercy. I originally was like, hey, Izen of Dwin, you're going to remain here. But no, I'm going to release him if he is willing to convert. Uh, we do have Naxara Merwan of Gochten, and that, of course, he cannot be... You know, it's not acceptable that he is here right the way he is without our true one religion. But beyond that, I think we will start to show some mercy, uh, including changing our focus to rulership. I want to be, Simeon wants to be a good ruler. Because a king of the ashes is a ruler of none. And that is, of course, not acceptable if you are the device, the tool to bring salvation to so many in the form of Tagawa Simeon, the Devil of Hike. All right, and with that being said, oh, I need to do one more thing, and that would be, there you go. So the issue with our mother was that she constantly would go and become not incapable, meaning that the, she would then start to plot to seduce and so on and so forth. I tried this out previously, you know, just how the immortal trait interacts with that, and it's terrible. So what I just, you know, want to say is she's not technically dead. She's still in the bed, but in game mechanics, she is dead. All right, and what is going on over here anyway? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, a rebellion. They're going to take all that land. Hello, my new Messalian friend. You still hate me. But all, all of his modifiers, I'm certain, will go away within the decade. And it, indeed they will, yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, and this is even more interesting. You know what I'm thinking? So, we already have a pretty good protection here around our realm. Now, will that be enough to keep the Seljuks away? Oh, I mean, obviously not. But, you know, with this river, and then going into this river as well, we would have a protection in the north, the east, and the south. So, taking Aran appears to be a direct... in our direct interest, really. Hmm. I don't want to go for a holy war, I don't think, because then we would definitely have Shah Salah the Wise, and... Potentially also Yabgu or Yabu Etrek the Third the Evil. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't definitely don't want to face him, especially not with, you know, all of these members of his realm. So what I'm going to do is just an unjust conquer. I could go for Claim Aran. You know what? This is this is justice. I conquered him, and I shall give him land if he is a trustworthy a trust trustworthy vassal. So let's just declare, uh, declare the war. Let's also get the Holy Order going. And then primary the levy of our vassals. I would love to save my own. Just for the hell of it. Mm, he likes me. I don't think... I don't think I need to do anything to him. That's okay. Man. It's been very, very hot here in Germany. I swear to God. I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop dead. It's crazy. I wasn't built for this sort of uh, weather. That's just not okay. How's my wife doing anyway? Hello, Alexandra. You've given me two children, three children almost, and have cursed them to never have salvation. Thank you so much. Now, I want to make one thing clear. Law-wise, nobody, or canon-wise, story-wise, whatever, nobody's actually aware. You want to join me? Sure. Nobody's actually aware that we are what we are. A bloodline, you know, only the church knows about it, which is why I only gave the, the church a positive opinion here. And a bloodline, just in general, is even a secret to these uh, two. I almost said three there, but well, uh, to these two. Nobody knows about this except the church and us. 
I'll keep it a secret for as long as I can, honestly. There are many legends about the great woman whose blood I share. A particular story has been circulating at court lately. It focuses on an epic feat where Mary proves the strength of character. The more I hear, the more I wish to emulate her. You know what? I mean, I'm going to pick up Roth and I'm going to treat it as though we picked it up in the entire endeavor. Him being angry with the world is an established thing, I think. I've mentioned that often enough. So the way I see it, it makes quite the amount of sense uh, to have him kind of take that trait and, and you know, adopt it. My co-conspirators have fabricated evidence. Very, very nice. I will see him disgraced. And he has been, that's right, disgraced. And now he will even just give me the county, Jesus. Thank you, nerd. Alright, well, thanks for the county. Hmm, how quickly are you gonna siege this? 6.5? Ah, oh, we're way quicker, we'll be fine. My Sparapet tells me that one of my commanders, their tool has improved significantly. Very nice. Let them have their fun. I think the times of... I mean, we're still cruel. Nah, you know, this is still war. I'm not gonna join in, but this is still war. Oh, I'm gonna take his wife prisoner, because that should... It didn't even give me war score, Jesus. Disgusting. Alright, let's go up there. Let's beat him up again. I thought it would give me war score, to be honest with you. I am a novice fighter. Thank you. I appreciate it a great deal. And I will carry my new title with everything that I have. Look at him. He might be possessed, but he is a good dude. He's not even marrying. Why are you not marrying? Uh, arranged marriage? Between you and nobody? Is it because he's pos uh, possessed? That can't be right. Interesting. Maybe it's right. Maybe it is. Vosgi Bagratuni. <laughs> you know, normally I would say you've come to the wrong court, but all things considered, those days are over. Those days are over. I'm gonna help you. With my influence, I'm gonna I'm gonna marry you off to a patrician. Far far away from here. The Bagratuni dynasty shall never return to these mountains. They shall never rule them, but I will not smite you. Goodbye, Vosgi. Goodbye indeed. Now she's in Ragusa. Ah, the Bagratuni dynasty. Let's put him in irons. Uh, and let me, let, ugh, let me actually check here. Six more members. One, two, three. Nope, those are actually, sorry. Wrong dynasty. 100% <laughs> wrong dynasty. Simeon, right? Then we have we have Tatul. Wait a minute. Tatul is far away. Alright, okay. Good for him. Good for him. We have Vosgi and Vahag. Vahag, uh, they're all in the Byzantine Emperor, uh, Empire, it looks like. Hope they don't push a claim. Not that they can push anything right now, but you know, just for the record. Don't you dare push anything. That's the way I see it. And I think we should at least repay some of our loan here. There you go. Only a small loan remains. A small loan of a million dollars. How the, how the Seljuks doing? Let's keep an eye on that. I am still very afraid. 0% progress in their war so far. So that's quite nice. The diplomatic skill of Chancellor Meir Ishkan is deplorable. No matter what, I t uh, what task I give him, he always manages to disappoint you're not good enough to have, uh, uh, you are not good enough, you have to shape up or, hmm, I don't know. I feel indifferent about him, let's just say you have to shape up, mate. And there goes my interest, well, well, well. My Sparapet tells me that one of my commanders, Koha, has improved significantly. This is war, after all, I mean, you know how it is and all that. With war and such. We are now making a decent amount of money, even from the trade post there, we just build another building, giving us even more income. I am very much in favor of it. And you just got your title. Oh, and suddenly, oh. Oh, that's even better. I mean, is it actually? That means this titles, these titles stay together, but I just pushed for a claim for this young man, and you know what? I, I accept it. What are you good at? Your father was my enemy, but you are not. He's a curd. Um, what about a stewardship? Yeah, you know my wife. I have to be a good realm administrator now. So I think you can no longer serve that. Sorry to tell you. You know, I know you don't like to hear that, but... 
Why, why don't I buy you a, a present? Here you go. I have this money that I carefully sorted. Oh my lordy. And I didn't notice that Vespura Khan had fallen. We are surrounded, my man. I don't I don't know how how do we get back against the Seljuks. You know, Tagawa Simeon is not an intrigue mastermind. He's good. I mean he's pretty much excellent as he is with everything. But maybe the solution is to get rid of the Seljuks? By force or by intrigue. We have to get rid of them. We don't really have any allies looking around, right? And we haven't taken a look at the map. I have the feeling nothing changed. Literally nothing changed in Iberia. I might be wrong though. England is... Well, you know... I don't, I don't know. This has existed for a while now. The back and forth. The Pechenegs have taken over Novgorod at the very least as a vassal. Uza's still very, very big. Man, I'm... You know, I'm just thinking. Oh, the Aljanabi. Hello there. Carmathian. Oh, let's go. That's that's really cool. Well, well, well. We've played them, haven't we? I've been uh, Abu Tahir. That's me. Didn't die to pesticides, though. No worries. Look, here's the thing. How do we expand you? We do not have any allies. I cannot marry into the family of this man. I will not swear. I den I reject the notion of swearing fealty to the Byzantine Empire. They have renounced us as a heresy. Ooh, I could and I probably have to go to war against Georgia though. If we take the mountains, we will find safety. If we just take Tiflis, for example, we will find an incredibly good province. 1.16k troops, huh? I might need some more money and or troops because he will get some bonus. He does not actually have anybody to aid him. He is seducing. Stop. Please don't seduce my wife. Not that we're going to have any children to begin with, but hey, come on, man. I don't know. We're not strong enough against the Celtics. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I can tell you that much. My courtiers fear me. They fear my outbursts of anger whenever they disobey and disappoint me. Although they seldom do. Well, here's the thing. How's my son doing? Hello, son. You don't really like me, do you? Pushed me too hard. Well, how about I give you some land and make you happy? Are you, are you trying to kill me? Yo, I swear to God, give me, give me this kid. Give me this kid. I'm not gonna go. You know what? Good. You have amnesty over there, but I swear to God, Vahan, I swear, I will end you. God damn it. I have risen so fast to the top that other people regard me with envy. Child, we, I've seen, I think we've seen this before. I will teach you about ambition. All the grand tourney. Man, I'm so mad. So I didn't want to kill him there, just to, just to clarify. I did not want to kill him there. I just wanted to put him under house arrest. But for that I need to imprison him and we failed at that. And now we fled into holy territory. Into the territory of the army of Lucifer. And I respect that. Or rather, well, I guess I respect the army of Lucifer. Good God. How dare you, son. Trying to, trying to murder your own father. I am everything that has been built here. And you do me dirty like this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, let's pay as much back as possible. Was that everything? I believe it was. Yes. We have finally repaid the loan. I could expel them, but honestly, I don't think he feels that anger towards the army of Lucifer. He knows they are necessary in every single way. You know what is also necessary? Maybe... I don't think... Hmm. I think an armor. You know, I don't think the crown would be necessary right now. We are a well-respected king. We made sure of that when we took everything that we could take. But why are we not converting this goddamn Major Koha? Come on, listen. I like you. You're a good friend, but please, don't do this to me. I think we're gonna build an armor. We need an armor because we will have to go to war. We all know it. Can imprison you. What are you trying to plot? Discredit Matria Koha. You know, the thing is, I'll just let you go. So this is a bit weird. He doesn't hold anything in our realm. You know, he doesn't have any importance to us. But because we are the Armenian crown, Armenian crown, he was a de jure, or rather, a natural vassal to ours. Well, 
you have independence now, Apostolic Church. You're no longer bound to Armenia because we don't want you. Get out of here. Hmm. Didn't I? No, there you go. My Sparapid uh, Mithridid Vehaterk has told me about a remarkable armorsmith residing in Tabriz. He suggested that I invite the man to my court to see if his uh, see his work for myself. Absolutely. Let's get it done. Once the armorsmith's craftsmanship had been checked by my most knowledgeable attendants to ensure the quality was sufficient, I received him in the throne room. He intro introduced himself as Master Melek and gestured towards his numerous assistants, who all carried examples of his work. Does my Tiger War have anything special in mind? I am in need of protection. The best. Look, I will I will go into debt for this. This armor will save my life. Also, what is this war? Is this a Seljuks? No. Having decided to check out, up on Master Melek's progress, I strolled over to his forge. I did not find him working on the project I commissioned, but instead working on a diff- Excuse you? Hey. That's- That's not okay. And um, what gives me the chance- This is not what I pay for, uh, get, get out and stay out. No, 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 no. I don't want to kill him. But there's no chance of getting a tremendous result, so I'm just gonna- You know what? You do you. I don't want to disturb him. I need the I need the armor. Finally, the set of armor has been completed, and it's just a goddamn splint mail armor. <laughs> so it's just quality two, but it does give us some bonuses when we fight and when we go on. Oh no! Please don't declare on me, dude. That was the closest thing. How did he even do that? How did he? Why did he join this? Oh lord, that could have. He's down to 10k. Yo, he's down to 10k! This is doable again. I can defend against 10k, guaranteed. I just need, I just need the money. We are now in the realm of possibility. But also, we are now in the realm of uh, handing out a title. Can't hand out anything to my son now that he's gone, can I? Stop trying to murder me, I swear to God. Should have, should have just, I don't know. Never had him, I guess. Um, I think I'm gonna give away... Uh, more Borderland seems like the natural thing to give away. What is this? Why can I not give away Haband? Hey. Haband? There it is. Alright, let's give away Haband. I just want to get rid of the Borderland. You know. What? No. What? What? the hell? He's not ineligible. Did he join? Did he actually join? He's a commander. What? The hell? You're coming back. No, 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 no. What? Are we screwed here? I mean, we, we live for an incredibly long time. So I don't think we're gonna die immediately, but what just happened? I can't have any children. If worst comes to worst, I would have to adopt and get rid of the blood. But that can't be, you know, like, that's that's not right. That's not what, what I want to do. Oh, and he con she converted somebody, actually. Good job. I need to kidnap him. I need my son back. By upholding the virtue of patience, God teaches us to show mercy to sinners. What greater way to show mercy than to forgive the greatest sinner and pray with him uh, or her for their salvation? Sure. I spent the night alone in the chapel, praying hard for the salvation of Naxara Mamlan. He never showed up. Well. You know, I realize that the result that we now have, where I have no heir, is probably because I banished him. But then again, if he's not eligible anymore, I might as well just change the crown law so that Princess Anna can take over. There's no difference. No perceivable one, anyway. Mayor Tatul expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. His contribution to the realm is significant and his military strength is not to be ignored. No, I mean, maybe, actually, if you're good, because we will be able to convert you from this and you are good. But he's better. No. You know what? You're not that important anymore. I'm gonna build this trade post up even further. Wow, I think... How did we get away from the Seljuks? Only 12k anymore? 
That's crazy. Like, that's so tiny. Yo, that is so damn tiny. And look at our army slowly building up. We will be a power in this region. Recently, I've noticed the pitiful state of my daughter. Don't you dare pass away. Anna, please. He's possessed. <laughs> that's so perfect for this family. Please don't hurt her. He's, oh, he healed her. Let's go. All right, well. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm just looking at this, right? What do we do here? Do I try to kidnap him? And if I achieve kidnapping him, does that actually exclude him from the order? Or should I just do this? You know what? Let's let him do what he wants. He's a traitor in my eyes. Might even break off the betrothal, quite frankly. But now Princess Anno is my heir. As she should be. As she should be. Well, alright then. No longer gonna kidnap you then. Hello, Anna. That's an interesting turn of events. So, we had a fallout with our son. Tried to kill me, goddammit. Why, why do you have to go so far? Can't it be like, I wanna insult him or something? Instead, he was just like, oh, let's just murder my dad, bro. That's so cool. Hmm. We had a fallout with him. And we will respect the rights of our religion. If Anna ascends to the throne, she will be married to Prince Vahan. But Prince Vahan will hold none of our titles. He made sure of that by joining them. And he is actually the next in line of succession. The husband of Princess Anna would be the leader of the Holy Order. Oh, this is great. Th this, is a, this is a story. And I didn't even do anything except try to react to my son trying to murder me. I mean, come on, man. I'll just let him murder me. Mm, Alright, well. Uh, Princess Anna, you're great as a fighter, so you know what? I shall educate you in it as well. Women have always been treated the same here. And it shall continue just that way. This is interesting. I like it. End of an empire. Whether the ex by external pressure or internal corruption, the empire of Cordoba has been reduced by others. What? Reduced to a remnant of its former glory. No longer seen as a true empire by others, nor able to deem itself as such without risking blasphemy, it has succumbed to its weakness and is forfeit. Muhammad Al-Hamudi, uh, Al the former emperor, has surrendered his imperial crown and accepted the lesser title of Amir Al-Muminin of Al-Andalus. That is so cool that that actually happened. And he's Saidi. Zaid's a Shia group that believes that Alid, Im uh, Alid Imams are not infallible. Cool. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Surely a great misfortune. Good riddance. That's all I can say. I mean, not like that actually matters to us. The world is quite interesting. They're so stable over here, but with so many kings. Are you seeing this? Al-Andalus, and then you have uh, Al-Aburi. Hmm. That's kind of cool. al is uh, keeping it together and is now stronger than the Seljuks. I mean, the Seljuks, how did they fall like this? Just how did it actually happen? I cannot answer the question, but I know that the answer is surely embarrassing. Alright, well, we, as I said, have to rebuild our realm, and I shall do this by making sure that each of these has some holdings. There you go. Look at this. Let's build a castle town, you know, for the good of the people, you could say. And why don't we build... Uh... Let's just build walls, I guess. That sounds about right. Very ambitious, you know, just, hey, I just want to be safe. Don't let me die, please, bro. Alright, there you go. Building a lot of things now. Marshal Azad Mithridat told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that this would improve the military. Hmm. Why are you here? Ah, it's still this one. Anna spends all day playing in the dirt and never seems to care about her own looks, not even during formal occasions when a proper decor would be expected from a girl of a stature. We never cared about it either. I can't because there's too many here. I can't fully... Can you be wrathful and patient? How did I... I don't think that's possible. And the opposite of wrath. I'm both. Man, man, I, I really have a lot of time today, you know, just gotta... And I'm so angry about having all this time today. That's us. But I don't see... I thought we were, um... Ankoth at some point, but we might have never been. I would rather teach her about bravery. I mean, come on, man. 
Oh, come on, of course you resist. You goddamn child. Every time. Hmm. We'll talk about the betrothal next time. Let me know what- I mean, I don't know, this is a tough situation for me. My son tried to murder me and fled from me. But it is a ritual to, you know, marry the siblings there. To keep the royal blood, and I, I mean it even helps, you know, Simeon has the knowledge of the royal blood being important. You don't want to dilute it. If you dilute it too much, the power might be gone. And then my my wife, uh, my mother would have, you know, sacrificed her well-being for literally nothing. And they are beating up the Georgians, meaning we can probably go in there soon. The next episode, I foresee rapid expansion. But holy moly, my family is so close to utter annihilation. I will be the, uh, I will be back tomorrow. See you later, alligator.